Right, Sheila, 29th of August 2024. This could be like the 10th video. I've got no idea. I haven't counted them. I sometimes do very long ones and sometimes lots of short ones. And then they all have to be looked at, edited. Sometimes, but often I put photos with them. Um, and it all takes time and I've got a whole backlog of stuff. I'm behind with everything because I go out when it's nice weather. So they will get done. Sometimes I'll just share the photos so that you get an insight and maybe one vid one or two videos. But the rest will come later. But I usually like to put them on YouTube. Um, I like to usually... I can't stay in. Uh, to me, it's like really awful thing to do. Stay in when it's nice weather. I can't think of anything worse. Look at this. How can you not go out when this is on? You know what I mean? How can you not go out? And you can't miss this, can you? I mean, look at it down there. Look how gorgeous all that is. Cows on the move. They'll be down in the valley soon having a drink. Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's just bloody gorgeous, everybody. And uh, I'm just taking the old photo. I know some people say, oh God, we've seen loads of Heather, Sheena, and loads of gorse in your photos today. Loads and loads and loads of it. It's like you're walking up the same path. I haven't. I've gone all the way round, everyone. I've just done a massive walk. And I'm, it isn't over yet. I'm on Lady's Edge. Down there is the path I usually go. I go down to Holford, Holford Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe, into the Hodges Coombe. That's what I'm doing. I just love it. Look at it and the smell. You don't, I, I haven't sneezed once, I haven't had hay fever, the tightness of just absolutely nothing. Because it's all natural. It doesn't do that to you. If anything, it would lower your blood pressure, I would have thought, seeing this beauty. Some lovely birds up here, little birds as well as the big ones. Yeah, and people sit here. This is a lovely place to sit and have a picnic in it if you don't want to, but not if you don't want to get ticks. Um, I wouldn't advise it myself. Unless you've got lots of tick, anti tick cream on. You can see the cows are on the move. Look. What they do, they make their way along, they end up at the Bicknoller Swallow, which is dry. Then they'll have to come down into the Holford to get the water. There aren't many places where there's water, but they find it. They're on the move. They were in a little tight pack a minute ago. And they come up here as well. I mean, they roam everywhere. It's a long winter in being in, see? It's a long winter. But I'll be out, I go out in all weathers. All you've got to do is put the right clothing on. You know, warm clothing. Clothing that keep you dry. Good footwear. And it does always mean buying the most expensive pair of shoes in the shop. They don't always stand up to the test when water is concerned. I like to wear pumps that are comfortable. I got to get some more insoles. I tend to re replace the insoles for a bit more padding. And I haven't got any problems with my feet. And I can walk miles. And uh, it's true, I think sometimes I wish I did have a companion to walk with, but they'd have to go at my pace if they were fast because I couldn't keep up with them and I wouldn't enjoy it and I wouldn't want to go out with them again. 
because they'd make me struggle to breathe. It wouldn't be their fault. So, so, but I know that it happens. I'll, and I like, to, I like going slow. I used to be fast, right? But I actually like what stopping, wandering, looking, watching, and uh, yeah, I like all that. Yeah, the cows are breaking up. They just take, sometimes they take ages deciding what they're going to do, don't they? You know. Which way shall we go? They're saying. This is a lovely walk. Why I love this particular walk up here. I love it in the Glen, don't get me wrong. I love it in, in the Coombs. But up here you can, especially this time of year, with all this heather and stuff, it highlights different areas of the Coombs. You know, it's just so gorgeous. This is the best time, end of August. When the, I mean the gorse, like I say, the gorse has really flourished this year. And it's nice how they do fit so harmoniously together, isn't it? You know? And it's like over, um, right over on the hill fort, it's the heather that's dominating, the purple heather. Purple haze. <laughs> And over here you've got this mixture, rich mixture with the blue sky. It's just like fantastic. We'll be running out of memory soon, will we? Yeah. I keep forgetting to bring a spug. I've got to buy two more spare memory cards. I'm, I haven't unloaded my memory cards from my family tree trip yet, just in case, because I had trouble with one card. Um, so, it's taken me a long time. Now, last night I did, um, X in Church, which I haven't put on Facebook yet. I got, um, a, a walk through X in to do to the, to the new little cemetery. I think I might have done New Market, I'm not sure. I don't know if I have yet, because I, there was some St Mary's Church, so I'm not quite sure if I've done it yet. And I've not, I've been naughty at recording in the book. Normally I'm meticulous. Everything's labelled, and but I've been, I've been lazy this time. God, look at that, it looks like, it looks like broccoli, doesn't it? All that green there, look at it. Looks like broccoli. I'm looking out for deer. Seen any? They're very. This is. A, they're really good at hiding this time of year, mind. No sign of them. No sign of them. I normally see them, but they might be just out of my view, like just in the distance, sort of like there. Yeah. Look at that. You've got this beautiful walk up here as well. So. Because I did um, Podders two weeks ago, I've recorded that that part going across the streams and that. This can link up with that one when I get around to it. What I do do immediately when I get home, I usually start the process of whacking them all on the computer and all on discs, ready for the editing the WMV or MP4 and then to go on YouTube which all takes time I haven't put anything on YouTube yet I mean I got a feeling I put a couple of family tree stuff on there Penn Hill I think I, 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 I put that on there I wanted to share that I also had 25 videos that were corrupted by a disc and even though the videos were good the disc oh, I don't know where they've gone. I don't think I realised I had to look in a different area for them. So they got lost now. And messing around with the disc didn't help. Oh, look at that now. Yeah, but I'd be deep down in there now if I was doing the lower bit. 
coming down through there. Where I met the cattle last time. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, they'll, they'll be on the move in a minute. I like it out here all over the year, but I do think this is a special time because of the colour. The colour. We'll be out here in October, the 7th, and we'll be able to see how it's changed, because that's sort of about four or five weeks' time. We'll be climbing up over on here, higher hair nap. And, um, that's what we'll be doing. As in memory to place stones on the con. I never, because I, I can't forget that date, because I, that's what I did last year. I mentioned it loads of times. So that's Downsborough Hill Fort, don't forget folks, that big hump there. The one in front, that's Higher Hair Nap. Now you've got Lower Hair Nap as a walk going by. You've got Hurley Beacon right over there, and you can't see Will's Neck or West Barkborough or Lydiate Hill anymore. And you can't see Beacon Hill. Okay? It's so very soon when we get over the brow of the next hill, we'll see the memorial trees to the people that fought in World War II. And then we'll be going down to Holford. So, earlier on today, we went in one of the coombs, not what you can see now, the other side of that hill we went. We went up the coombe and then we, we joined a path and went right up there. Did we? Yeah. See, I could have gone, there's a higher path not far away, but I, I, um, I like this one. I did a path over the other side of Longstone Hill during my last walk when I was exploring a, a new area that I hadn't explored properly over Beacon Hill. There was um, a new coombe I was starting to explore there. That was very interesting. That's, none of that's been shared yet. None of it. All this would be on hold. Like I said, I might share some photos, otherwise people think, but that was a month ago. Gee, that was a month ago. Is that a date? Nah. I think this will be enough by the time I get back. I mean, I was up at six this morning getting ready. I was at the house by ten to eight. I was over here by nine. There was a little tiny bit of a traffic jam in by Bridgewater where they're putting in some new. They're doing something over there. I don't know what they're doing. That was a bit slow, but it moved. It, we weren't in the, it wasn't long, five, ten minutes, that's all. Let's go slow. And, uh, it's Friday. It's supposed to be a good weekend. Is it? Mmm. People will be out on the, would have been out on the beach today, I think. Though with the wind coming off the sea, it can be nippy. It can be nippy. It's like blonde hair, doesn't it, when we go through this bit? You know? Like blonde hair mixed in with the the yellow gorse and the purple heather. That's what it feels like when I'm walking along this bit. Beautiful, isn't it? 
It's funny, they've never thought of having black grass, have they? Or, gr but no, you have green grass, of course you do, yeah. It's just so gorgeous, isn't it? Okay. Of course, I did do um, East Quantock Heads. I've been out this way quite a few times, and I walked along the beach to West Quantock Head, and then, you know, I did a bit of that not long ago. Yeah, a couple of months now. And like I said, though, when I was on my family tree trip, I pack a lot in. And it can take a while. I'm still, like I said on a previous tape, I'm still deciphering family tree stuff from 10 years ago. You know, the, the detail I used to do in the graveyards, the inscriptions I used to read out of possible family members, they all need to be looked at, checked out on the censuses, the birth records, the marriage records and looked at. I just haven't got round to it. I need an, I need an assistant, really. I mean, Zara keeps her hand in. She's doing bits and pieces. Um, she's got stuff that I've never seen that she's done when we've been out. God, look at this sound. Isn't it gorgeous, everyone? I just love it, I do. People say, oh, she, you're so boring. You've been talking about this for ages since you walked out. I know. I know I have. Do you know, I'm just, I, I'm extra happy, I'm extra happy. My kids helped me out so I could get out. Oh, look at that little birdie. I don't know what sort that was. Tiny thing. One that lives in the grass. I don't know if it was a skylark or... I'm happy they helped me so much, especially Zara and Jolene, who um, got everything going, but Jolene really organised it. And um, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't have been able to have done my tree trip, really. Not, it wouldn't have happened. And of course, I know one day I'll be back to trains and buses and coaches. I know that. I've already tested the ground, so it's not to worry. We don't have to think about it at least for nine months. <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> Wait till nine months. And then we'll see when it's MOT time and all that. Wait, which way are you going, Sheila? Up there? Or staying on this track? I never, never, I never remember, you know. I think I stay on this one. Do you? I think so. Just carry on round the corner. That that one there will link up with the main track on the top. So I want I want to keep here. I want to keep here. I've seen that big herd of cows here before now. They do get about, you know. Right, little rest for a minute. 